This brings us to our keynote speaker this evening. After serving in Vietnam as a decorated non-commissioned officer, Mr. Dully enrolled at Bucks where he discovered his passion for theater and acting. After graduating from Bucks in 1973, he transferred to Ryder University where he earned his bachelor's in fine arts. After graduation, he launched a career in theater, film, and television, where he thrived as an actor for more than three decades. Mr. Dilley lives in Los Angeles, where he has been writing, directing, and acting in his first independent feature film, quote, A Soldier's Heart. We welcome Mr. Dilley back to the his alma mater, where the seeds of his successful career in the entertainment industry was, were sown. Please join me in a warm welcome for our speaker of honor this evening, Mr. Brian Dilley. Welcome, honored guests, families, friends, alumni, faculty, staff, and especially the graduates of the Bucks County Community College class of 2019. I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to honor you and congratulate you on your accomplishments. I noticed there were veterans present. I salute your service, and I'm grateful you're here today. Bucks County Community College saved my life, no exaggeration. When I graduated from nearby Pensbury High School in 1967, barely graduated. The war in Vietnam was raging. My father wanted me to go to college and there was a summer program at Ryder University. If I could get a C in each of the three classes that summer, I'd be admitted to a full-time student as a full-time student in the fall, earn a student deferment from the draft and avoid Vietnam. I didn't even come close. In fact, the dean at that time said to me, you're just not college material, son. Within the next year, I was drafted into the army. But to my surprise, I thrived in the military structure and discovered I possessed leadership skills, excelled at most every task I was given, and developed a solid work ethic. And then I was shipped off to Vietnam. The war was truly a life and death experience, filled with either terror or boredom. I became one of the youngest non-commissioned officers in my outfit and carried out my responsibilities well. When I came home a year later, I didn't know that I'd been forever changed. I desperately searched for the world I'd left behind and what I didn't realize was how much I changed. As my anger and depression grew, I behaved badly and scared the people I loved. One night out with some friends, I witnessed a violent crime right next to me. That was it. I, I sat in my car the next day and I, I sat very still seriously wondering what I was doing with my life. And since I got home, I, I wrecked a couple of cars, got into violent scrapes, and made a couple of appearances in front of the local judges. As was said in a movie I'm proud to appear in, get busy living or get busy dying. In Vietnam, all I thought about was living. After I got home, all I thought about was dying. I was desperate to find a new normal and a purpose for living. I noticed that Bucks offered an experimental three-part reading class. That summer of 1971, I enrolled in that class and a basic grammar class. On the first day, I took a reading test, and Dr. Rosella, who had also been in the military, asked me to stay after. I thought I was going to get kicked out. Brian, do you know what your reading level is? No, but it's, it's not good. It's fourth grade. Whoa, I knew it was bad, but that's really bad. Yes, it is, but the good news is we're going to turn this around. Just do what this program asks you to do and watch what happens. The reading class with Dr. Rosella was a revelation and changed my life. I felt like Helen Keller when she discovers that language with her hands and fingers. I was learning to live and living to learn. I brought in my work ethic from the service and really became a student, learning how to write and absorb how great writers and great minds process thought. The structure of college brought me into the present Thank you, Stan Heim and Lou Camp. I was even absorbing mathematics. Algebra and trigonometry became fun. What? <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Myron Kaplan. I also got involved in the Cultural Affairs Committee, and I spent time with Isaac Asimov, Robert Bly, and many other special people. I even considered a pre-med track and felt I definitely found a purpose beyond the war. I loved it. In my second year at Bucks, I decided to take 
an acting class. This will be easy. Turns out acting scared me like nothing else since the war. But that first acting class with my teacher, David Dean, changed my life yet again. Theater became my major, though I never imagined that someday I would appear in movies, plays, TV shows, commercials, and work with the likes of Al Pacino on Broadway. And here's a tip, just don't give up on your dreams. Now I have to confess, the one illegal act, one illegal act I committed here at Bucks can now be told. My friend Larry, who I'd gone to Pensbury with and then Vietnam, was at this time a um, helicopter pilot for the DuPont family. He flew them in Vietnam. He says to me, oh, you have to go up in one of these newfangled birds, Brian. What are you doing tomorrow? I said, well, I have school. Oh, good, because I'll take you from Philly to the college. I said, I don't think that's legal, Larry. We can't land there, and what about your job? He winks at me and he says, so what? I'll be in and out of there like a hot LZ in the NAM. So early the next morning, we come flying in and find enough room in the parking lot to land the chopper. <laughs> I jump out with my books and get a few astonished stares from the security guard and the students as Larry took back off. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> okay, so what I hope to convey to you today is that in life, we need to look for the possibilities that are available to us. I know what it is to feel hopeless, and I know what it is to feel hopeful. When I look at this group, I see hope. Definition of hope? To cherish a desire with anticipation, to want something to happen or to be true. When I came to Bucks, I felt uh, hopeless and broken. As my commitment deepened here as a student, I felt I entered into a new normal and found a purpose for living. To be here today is a way of coming full circle. Eventually, I would have to take on another byproduct of the war, post-traumatic stress disorder. For even though I escaped the hopelessness I experienced before I came to Bucks, PTSD would take a back seat until I had to deal with it later. I realize looking back now that in coming to Bucks, I was asking for help. And I would have to ask for help again and again in my life. I believe two very important ingredients a veteran needs to acquire in moving forward with his or her life are spirituality and community. But I really feel like this is a true statement for all of us. It's no accident that Bucks is called a community college. Why? Because it's something we do together. Group energy is very, very powerful. And here at Bucks, I was led to discover that which I would not have discovered on my own. Lucky me, lucky us. Now, I mentioned coming full circle. I completed my two years here at Bucks and planned to transfer to a four-year college. I learned that Ryder University had a small but very strong theater department. Do I dare go back to Ryder? They were the ones who told me I wasn't college material. But to my surprise, they accepted me my junior year. Fast forward. I'm about to enter my last semester at Ryder, and I've done well. I was nominated to be in the who's who of colleges and universities for 1975 and just landed a plum internship at Princeton's McCarter Theater. Just at the start of the last semester, I was asked to participate with two deans, two professors, and a couple of other students to determine whether a number of students who were on probation should be dismissed from the college. We were about to look at GPAs when I piped up. Hey, excuse me, I was here seven years ago and was told I wasn't college material, and yet I'm sitting here today has anybody talked to these people to find out their story? The dean slaps his hand on the table and he says, we stop right now and we have resident supervisors sit down with each person on the list. And if need be, I will too. Thank you. I hope someone else got a second chance that day. Three years ago on Veterans Day, I was asked to return to Ryder University to present a play I wrote and performed in about PTSD, combat and suicide prevention. Previously, I'd taken to play, to the play to Hanoi, Vietnam, and presented it to the Vietnamese and the former enemy. The healing and the forgiveness that took place, the forgiving, the healing and forgiveness that took place, That's what happens when you try to outrun your emotions. <laughs> okay, the healing and the forgiveness that took place on both sides was beyond words, obviously. None of that would have happened if I hadn't gone to Bucks. 
Now to close, I want to leave you with this quote by Martin Luther King Jr. The function of education is to teach intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the, that is the goal of true education. Thank you, Bucks County Community College, for saving my life. And to the class of 2019, go get them.